for as long as I can remember. I never felt comfortable in my own skin. I grew up feeling like I didn't fit the mold of what everyone expected me to be. As I got older, that discomfort turned into something more, a deep gnawing pain that I couldn't share. I thought maybe if I changed who I was, I could finally be happy. So I made a decision to transition from Sandra to Sam. I thought this would make everything better, but it didn't. Instead, it led me down a darker path. As I tried to embrace this new identity, I found myself spiraling into depression. The happiness I was searching for seemed further out of reach than ever before. I began to have suicidal thoughts, wondering if life was even worth living. I thought changing my identity and embracing homosexuality would bring peace, but it only brought more confusion and pain. Hmm. Then one day, I decided to join a gym. I figured if I can't find peace in my mind, maybe I can find it through physical strength. That is when I met Angela. She was different. She had this light about her, this peace that I couldn't understand. We started talking and she became the friend I didn't know I needed. But then one day, she invited me to a church concert. Me, in a church? I didn't belong there. At least that is what I thought. But Angela, she wouldn't take no for an answer. So I went reluctantly. At first, I just sat there, feeling out of place, waiting for it to be over. But as the music played and the people around me worshipped, something began to stare inside me. It was like a mirror was held up to my soul and I saw all the pain, all the confusion for what it really was. A battle not of flesh and blood, but of spirit. In that moment, I felt a conviction so deep, it shook me to my core. I realized that I wasn't just struggling with my identity. I was under the influence of something dark, something that had convinced me to reject who God created me to be. Hmm. It was the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit that deceives and destroys. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that is exactly what had been happening to me. I also remember what the Bible says about homosexuality how God views it as a sin. Romans chapter 1 verse 26 to 27 talks about how men and women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones and how this dishonors God's design for us. But I was lost. I couldn't see it before. I didn't want to see it. Hmm. That night, I gave my life to Christ. I cried out to him, asking him for deliverance, for peace, for the true identity he had for me. Hmm. And you know what? He answered. The chains that had been holding me down for so long began to break. I realized that I didn't need to change who I was on the outside to find peace. I needed to let God transform me from the inside out. It wasn't an easy journey and there were still battles to fight, but I was no longer fighting them alone. With every step, God was with me, guiding me, healing me. I no longer needed to be Sam to fill the hole. I was Sandra, 
the woman God created, loved, and redeemed. And that is all I ever needed to be. Hmm. If you are struggling with who you are, with feeling like you don't belong, know this, God doesn't make mistakes. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, just as you are. Don't let the world or the darkness convince you otherwise. Let God in and let him show you the truth of who you are in him.